Good day, guys. Being here. Um, yesterday, yesterday we modeled um, a part of that uh, retractable uh, roof. So, so this one. Um, today we are going to place eight of this together and make it uh, open and close. Okay, so let's start. So first, um, you should be able to download this from yesterday's video. Okay, so first we have this one. So it's a uh, it's a, a generic model adaptive. So see, this is a adaptive point. So now let's create a um, let's create a con conceptual mass. Okay, so and okay, so okay, so this is it. So first, go to floor plan. So um, actually, let's go to uh, elevation. So let's create a reference plan. Okay, so we're going to place it on this reference plan. Let's call it, uh, maybe call it roof. Okay, so now go to floor plan and uh, let's draw some reference line. So go reference and I'm going to use, uh, first set this level to roof. And then go uh, to uh, polygon. Uh, which one? Uh, don't matter. Just let's pick one and change the size to eight. And then uh, let's roughly. Um, I'm not sure what the size need to be. Maybe thirty meter. So from here to here. Okay. So this is the the roof the shape of the opening okay so let's pretend that this is the opening on that roof so if i go to 3d view so you will see this is on that level so roof level so now go to floor plan again so we need to load this family into the here so let's first so let's try to place it so um when i play try to place it on this reference line we'll see the directions not right so we need to change some settings so let's go back so um so this this option let's try this option so always vertical let's check this always vertical and load it back override so let's place it again. So component, yeah, I think that's better. So now when you place this on, uh, place this family on this reference line, it's, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, the orientation the, uh, is correct. So it's all, it's vertical and then facing the correct, uh, um, direction but we need to change the size of that so because this is when we draw this shape is uh, this the size of this is 30 meter so what we need to do is select this one select this uh, family so we just need to change the d2 to 30 meter so now if i move this so see this you can use tab to pick this point so if you type in 0.5 it will be sit in the middle of these two um, uh, this line this reference line so you will see it will uh, just it will match the size of this opening so now we can just place uh, the uh, the other seven of, of this family so place component um, so you can change this before you place. And then let's just pick the middle point SM. So SM, 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 and SM. And then that's it. So now let's go, let's have a look in 3D view. So this is, uh, uh, this is the roof, so with eight, eight pace of this family okay so if you if you're not happy with the shape of uh, of this you can go back 
uh, to this family and then go to edit uh, oh, sorry go to family type and then you can you can change the formula of so for example if I want this uh, h2 to be higher so you can just go to h2 instead of 6 you can change it to 5 so it will become higher uh, so for example this is h3 so you can go to h3 so make it even higher so 3.5 and okay and then load this into this mass so then that's it so of course um, this is uh, it's not finished we because we we want to ch change uh, move these panels okay so first let's try um, let's just select all these hh -H, and let's have a look of this one okay so select this one so select this point this point and then so you will see currently it's uh, 0 0.5 you can move this along this uh, reference line so if if you type in zero we'll go this to this end if you type in one we'll go to this end so what we're going to do is so let's type hr select all these uh, points so the points on the the uh, adaptive points of these families so select this one control select 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 this one and the last one so select all these uh, adaptive points of these families and then we can cre create a, f a a parameter so let's call it um, um, what do we call it? I don't know. A. <laughs> okay, let's call it A. So now if I go to family type and then so type in zero. Okay. Point one. Point two. Point three. Point five. Point six, so point nine and one. Okay, so it looks like not perfect. So it can be only so this is one, the maximum. So we can have, but what we need is we need this panel to move further. Okay, and also we want it to stop at um, uh, point 0.5 look uh, position so if I type in point 0.5 it will be clo closed so what we need to do is so we just need to let's select all these reference lines so hi isolate so what we need to do is we need to adjust these line to start from this middle point and then maybe extend this point so okay so let's do it so um what i'm going to do is um maybe we can just create a new reference line okay so reference this time i'm going to use a line and same i'm going to place it place them on roof level i'll start from the middle point and then i'll try to stop at on a parallel to align to this line okay so here and then once again middle here middle here middle here and middle middle align middle and the line and the middle the last one middle and the line okay so now i'm going to delete delete these okay so delete this so we only have this line so now let's hr 
uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just pick new host. So currently this family is not because we uh, deleted the those reference lines. So we need to pick this point, pick new host, and place it on this reference line. Uh, fail to apply. Okay, so it looks like we need to remove that. But how about this? Um, so select this point. So we need to remove, oh, it's already, let's try again. So pick new host. Uh, what's going on here? Um, maybe let's uh, just, let's, let's place them again. Okay, so I'll delete them. So create component. So uh, play on face, correct? Yeah, just try to place it. Yeah, so place it on here. On the reference line, doesn't matter. So you can just place anywhere. And then, oh hell, is this correct? Yeah, so now we can select all these points again. Let's see if we can use IC isolate. No, no, sorry. One, two, three, no, shift, control, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now load this back to that parameter again. Okay, so now let's have another try. So this time, so go to family types, type a zero. Okay, so zero, zero will be this end. And one, yeah, that's better. So let's uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, uh, and 0.8. Okay, so I think that's it. So also you can you can use um, s s instead of from uh, zero to one, you can use zero to one to control it, or you can use um, segment length. So which means you can use distance to control it as well. So for example, this reference line is a thirty meter. So so what you can do is you can select all these points. Okay. So and then um, let's uh, let's just do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's unlink this parameter first, and then change the measurement type to segment length. So now you will see this is a distance. So from this point, starting point will be the this point, and that's uh, 24 meter from that point. So you can now create a new parameter. Let's call it maybe call it B, okay, instance, and um, yeah, and okay. So now you can just type in a number instead. Oh, sorry, a length. So for example, 10 meter. So it will be. 10 meter from this point to this point. So this way uh, it's easier to, so we can do this. So you can create a reference line here and the cop, let's just copy it. So we have two reference line, do a dimension and just uh, put the parameter B to it. So now if I drag this reference line, so if I drag this reference line, you will see. Oops. I try drag this reference line. So you can close it, open it, close it, open it, close it, open it. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.